this will end. Those were the words of Dr. Anthony Fauci as he met with the bishops of the Episcopal Church last week on a virtual meeting. And while I want to come back to those words, he said a few other things that I'd like to share with you because I think it's important. Dr. Fauci said to us that, that he agreed to meet with the bishops because he truly believes and, and feels that, that religious institutions, the churches, synagogues, mosques, have a very important role to play in helping to educate and encourage people as we make our way through these times. I'll be honest with you, I was a little bit giddy to, to see at the virtual feet of Dr. Fauci. Um, I've grown to respect his wisdom and even more his persona and, and the way that he communicates that wisdom. And, and I will tell you that he has a wicked sense of humor. He began by saying that the, his voice that you hear is not his usual voice. He said, I'm, I'm saying these things 18 hours a day, six days a week because they're so important. But because of that, my voice has grown weary. But it's important for us to continue to, to say these things so that, that folks will, will understand what's happening and how they play an important part in, in curbing and ending this pandemic sooner than later. So I'm going to share with you a little bit of what he said. The first thing he said, and some of this you've heard before, again, the most important thing that you and I can do to help end this pandemic is the universal wearing of masks. And, and he really emphasized this word universal, that we all have a part to play in that. And he, and he went also on to say that, that face shields are, are not an equal to, to wearing a mask, that the particles can still get up and out of a face shield, not the way that a mask does. The second thing he said is uh, to remember to keep distance from folks, especially when we are trying to gather together for, for worship. The farther apart we are, the, 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 the more effective we will be in, in reducing our risk to exposure. And then finally, he emphasized again how important meeting outdoors versus indoors. And, and he went on to talk about that he's concerned about what the winter is going to hold, especially for colder climates. So I say that to, to, to you, that here in the Central Gulf Coast, as, as the temperatures cool, to, to reconsider ways in which we might hold our worship outside or, or maybe small group meetings or even pastoral conversations. We might have an advantage in these next several months uh, as that plays out. Most of the time that, that Dr. Fauci spent with us was addressing this question which was asked of him. How can the church help his efforts? And he became very animated as he talked about that. And then the very first thing that he said is that we will know by the end of this year, and he's cautiously optimistic, that we will know by the end of this year about the results for a safe vaccine. And he said that the, the, the point is in the way that the church can help is to educate people about that and to encourage people to get a vaccine once it's available. When it is available, he encouraged us, it will be safe and to help people know that and, and to find the means and ways to encourage folks to, to get a vaccine. That will help curb, uh, curb the, the, vaccine, the, uh, the virus. Secondly, he said, please help folks know that he wants the churches and, and religious institutions to, to worship in a safe way. Uh, I, I think he, he said, please let folks know that, that public health officials and scientists are, are not the enemy that these safeguards, it's, it's not a nothing or an all or nothing, that, that these safeguards are there in order to provide a way to worship and to be together, not as an obstacle or to prevent that happening. Finally, finally, Dr. Fauci said, please tell people that this will end. There will be a day when you will be able to, to worship together without distortion, which I thought was a, a, a funny kind of phrase, but, but I understand what he's saying. There will be a time when we will be able to gather back together and worship as we have in the past. And, and to let folks know that because we know that this will end, it's important for us how we live today in order to make that end come sooner than later. And he went on to explain that there are, there are kind of this spectrum of, of two misguided responses to all that's going on. And he said, at one end of the spectrum are those who are defeated. They don't believe that this will end, that this will be going on this way for the rest of their lives. And so their response of how to live today is a kind of giving up. It doesn't matter. So what? A kind of indifference. Those folks need hope. This will end. 
On the other end of the spectrum are those who are responding in, in a kind of way that they're, they're living in a vacuum, that they're, they're not going to get the virus. And, and they've concluded that even if they get the virus, if you look at all the numbers, they're not going to get that sick. And he said, so their response to how to live today is, I don't have to worry about it. But he said that those folks are a weak link because it's clear that 40% of the people who obtain this virus have no symptoms. In other words, we should probably be going out, as he put it, living as if everyone with whom we come in contact is infected. And he didn't say that in a fatalistic or fear-monging kind of way, but, but in a way that, that encourages us that what we do, each and every one of us, how we live today really does matter. This will end. He said it with a kind of authority that, that it just I felt it in my bones. It was the kind of authority that reminded me of, of when folks heard Jesus and they would say, with what kind of authority are you, did you get this? Who, who gave you this authority? And yet there was something in his voice when he spoke the gospel. And in a similar way, there is something in the voice of Dr. Fauci that lifted me up and gave me hope and courage and inspires me to pass on to you what I heard from him. This will end. So let's live today and every day in a way in which our, we have a part to play to end this virus sooner than later. Love your neighbor. Stay safe. Be gentle with the folks around you. We're all doing the best we can. And be gentle with yourself. And God's peace be with you.